This video describes our work in recognition of nonverbal communication in spontaneous human conversations. Face to face human conversation generally contains nonverbal signals that are necessary to understand the intended meaning. Previous studies have investigated how robots and computer characters can recognize and express some types of nonverbal communication. Automatic recognition of nonverbal communication is expected to be useful for novel computer interfaces, for learning tools, computer gaming, and other applications. There are many examples of fictional use of NVC between humans and robots. This allows humans to use their innate social skills to make robots easier to understand or control. Several data corpuses are available, but were not deemed suitable for our needs. We decided to use our own video corpus along with new annotation data. This decision was driven by our requirements for spontaneous communication, and the resulting video must be high quality suitable for tracking. I will now talk about our multiculture crowdsourced annotation of the two talk corpus, followed by how the data was filtered to remove uncooperative annotators, and our method for automatic recognition of nonverbal communication. It has long been known that different cultures have different ways of expressing nonverbal communication. Automatic systems have generally ignored this, which could lead to a system which works well in one situation but does not work as well in any other context. We address this problem by training the system on culturally specific annotations, so the system can better learn the cultural differences. This results in better performance compared to training on a single culture's annotation data. We use online paid and volunteer workers to annotate our data, which are offered through websites such as Mechanical Turk, Samosource, and Crowdflower. The users of each video clip provide ratings on four categories agreeing, thinking, understanding, and questioning. We collected about 79,000 ratings from about 700 annotators. Unfortunately, some of this data is random because of workers having the temptation to enter random data and still receive a payment. We need to remove this noise to get a clean consensus. We determine the origin of each annotator based on their IP address. This annotation data is publicly available on our website. We consider only those cultures that have received a significant amount of annotation. Kenya, Great Britain and India. First we try to find a robust consensus in a single culture's annotations. We then take the score mode as the consensus score, because this is relatively robust to noise. We then filter the annotations and keep only those which have a Pearson correlation with a consensus better than 0.2. This results in a filtered set of annotations from 388 different individuals. I will now describe our automatic system that uses the filtered annotation data as ground truth. The videos in the two talk corpus have been tracked using linear predictor flocks. 46 trackers were used to track 8 faces. If tracking failed, the trackers were manually reinitialized. We encoded changes of the face shape by taking pairs of trackers and calculating distances. This is done exhaustively, so for 46 trackers, we have a possible 1,035 pairs of trackers. These pair distance features were then zero-centered and whitened to form a frame feature. This removes the effect of face shape leaving only the deformation information. Each video clip has many frames. To compare clips, 
we combined the information from multiple frames to form a clip feature. This was done by simply taking the average and variance of each frame feature. We performed the regression of the training data using new SVR. We used the filtered annotation data as ground truth. This gives us a system that can provide a predictive score for agreeing, thinking, understanding, and questioning for unseen video clips. We can train and test the system on a single culture. This table shows the correlation performance when trained and tested independently on each of the three cultures. The correlation performances are far from perfect, zero being uncorrelated and one being perfectly correlated. However, human inter-annotator agreement is relatively low, and the use of naturalistic data makes the task very challenging. We will now consider the case of training with one culture's annotations and testing on a different culture. The correlation performance for training and testing on a single culture can be seen in the diagonal of this table. If we use a training annotation culture other than that we use for testing, the performance is generally lower. This can be seen in the off-diagonal cells. This confirms our expectation that automatic NVC recognition needs to be tailored to the cultural context that is to be used in testing and deployment or suffer a performance penalty. We now show the annotation scores and prediction for some of the video clips. On the left hand side are graphs showing the scores assigned by the annotators. Each row shows the annotations for a single culture, India, Kenya or Great Britain. Each column corresponds to a single NVC category, thinking, agreeing, understanding or questioning. The output from the automatic system is shown on the right. The rows and columns have the same meaning. Each row is a single culture. Each column is an NVC category. We can compare the Kenya Agree scores by looking at the left ground truth score and the right prediction scores. As can be seen, the predicted scores are broadly in agreement with the ground truth, although there is a great deal of room for improvement. We have described the multiculture annotation of the Tutor Corpus and our method for automatic recognition of nonverbal communication. For more information, see our HICV 2011 paper or view our website. In future work, we hope to build more effective clip features by learning which features are relevant and which frames in each video clip are responsible for determining the annotation label.